Hey guys, you remember in my first video I said that the the thing that prompted me to want to make a couple of these little screencasts of my operating system is um, was that I was going over some of my old blog posts and I found a... I was looking at the tutorial that I wrote for learning with text. I, I, I wrote a tutorial uh, quite a few years ago now that kind of explained... Uh, how to set up learning with text on your own server, on your own home computer, um, by installing a server. Um, and I showed you how to do that on Linux, Mac, or Windows. Um, and it was quite popular at the time, because uh, learning with text had been popularized by Fluent in Three Months, by Benny Lewis, because um, he actually installed it on his web server, but made it publicly available. Um, so I, I took a look at it. I thought it was a fantastic thing. I just thought it was one of the best um, things that I'd seen in terms of open source, an open source program. Um, and so I thought, I thought this would be great if people just knew how to install it on their own computer. Um, fast forward to, to now, it's actually been out since 2011. So it's like, it's old, you know, it's an old piece of software. And yet I, I think that learning with text is still, uh, one of the most innovative things that I've, that has come out. I really don't think anything has come out to, to really rival it in terms of being a, a free a free program. Maybe Anki SRS is, is up there with it, but um, for language learners, I mean, it really is, it's a great piece of software and it's still relatively easy to set up for most people. You know, it's a little technical, but um, it's worth it. You know, and you can really, you can have your own, your own assisted reader server set up on your computer. So... What I wanted to do, I just wanted to show you my uh, what I've done with mine. I've I've modded mine um, to match my uh, my desktop color scheme. Um, I just kind of what I do when I have a couple of hours spare. I, I guess it's a hobby of mine is to kind of mod things. I like to play around with code and and just kind of tweak things a little bit just to make it. I'm not an expert coder, but I I get a kick out of it. And, um, you know, the, the le learning with text as default is a, it's a very plain looking, um, program. So I just thought, you know, it'd be cool if my learning with text actually matched my wallpaper, you know, like the rest of my color scheme does. So this is it here. It's kind of matching my Egypt pyramids in the background there. But if I, um, so I'll just show you, uh, if I change my wallpaper to something colorful, let's say this one here, um, so now it's it's really vibrant color, you know, um, pink and blue. And if I refresh my learning with texts, it changes to match it. And then I have to I have to restart my browser as well to match it as well. But yeah, there you go. So it kind of I get these error messages popping up though. I just got to fix that. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll I'll show you one more actually. Let me choose a different color. Um, Let's try this one here. No, it's, it's too similar. Um, so this purple one. So I change everything again to be purple. I refresh, and there you go. And so I, I know it's kind of it's just a purely aesthetic little change, but um, uh, I I quite like it. I think it matches everything. And it's it's nice to use. Um, now another thing that I have actually done. I I finished this yesterday. I had a few hours spare and. I thought, you know, it would be really cool if, um, and I, I'm surprised, honestly, that the guy who made this hasn't put it together yet, but um, there was no way to add a video. So what I did was I, I tweaked the code to, um, to have another insert field for a YouTube URL or, a, you know, or a select box for a video file so that you can put a video file in there or a YouTube URL. And um, instead of having this audio player here, um, instead of having the audio player there, you have a, a video, an embedded video that pops up. The only thing, the only reason why I'm not showing you that right now is that I couldn't get, um, I haven't had time yet because I need to get this frame to resize to match the video, to, to insert the video. And I'll do that and maybe in my next video, I might be able to show you it. Um, if I, if I have time to do that, the other thing that I wanted to show you was, um, I, I mentioned bindings with cute browser in my other video. 
Um, and I said that, uh, so I showed you how I set a binding to download the subs. This is it here. Um, this LWTS, it down, it, it's a YouTube DL script that if you're on a YouTube page that has subtitles, closed captions, um, you can, you can run the binding and it will run this script and download the, all of the subtitles attached to that video. So I'll just show you. Um, I opened this video up to show you. So I ran, I ran this one here, LWTS. Okay, so that just downloads the sub, skips download, so it doesn't download the video because I don't need it for this particular thing. And if I come here, you see that I've got the, the um, let me just cat it. So you see I've got the subtitles there and it has the, um, it has the timestamps. And I said, I, I think I mentioned that I wanted to run a script to get rid of the timestamp. Um, and I actually made one just here, this remove time uh, script. So if I, if I run this remove time script, you see it says processing extra French episode one. So now if I cut that again, if I, if I read that file again, now it's just given, it's removed all of the timestamp and it also removed, um, it removed the first three lines because the first three lines had a uh, uh, it had a title and and something else on there and and I did and I didn't need that. The reason why I did this is because um, if I run my other binding, which downloads the video or the audio, um, so I can insert it into my learning with text. If I want to follow along with this video. Um, I, I need the text in here, but I don't want all the time and all the other stuff that they've put in there. So what I can do is, uh, now that I have this available, um, I can I can either copy it straight out of Vim. So this is it here. I can just copy that and just um, create a new text and um, paste it in. There's another script that I'm working on at the moment, which actually automatically inserts that straight into the database and creates a new text out of it. And that's kind of the next thing that I'm trying to work on. Um, so if I can get all that working, if I can get the video embed site resize working and the um, inserting the the subtitle, the, the cleaned up subtitle directly into the database automatically, um, I'll put another video together and show you that working. I just haven't had time to get it up and running, but that's that's my uh, my learning with text. Anyway, I like I said, I th I think I really do believe that this is one of the uh, still one of the best things out there.